Do it. Is he gonna give me the choice? <laughs> So I've been spending a lot of my time playing Days Gone. Honestly, it's probably one of the better zombie games out there on the market right now. Obviously, you have the gameplay. It's brutal. God. Oh! Motorcycle is a lot of fun. The zombie hordes are absolute chaos. And you know, it's a little buggy at times, but that's okay. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? So these men. <laughs> what really interests me is the whole story behind the developers of Days Gone and what the future looks like for a sequel for this game. What really caught me off guard is that there's a massive fandom behind this game, supporting this game, calling it a masterpiece. I have hundreds and hundreds of comments here telling me exactly that. And despite a rejection for a Days Gone sequel, Fans have been gathering up over the years, signing petitions to hopefully make it happen. The largest one existing at this moment currently sits at at least 165,000 signatures. There are times where Days Gone will randomly trend on Twitter, and it has a very unlikely future. There were ideas for a Days Gone sequel out there. They wanted to go and carry on Deacon's story. At one point, it was pitched to be a shared universe with cooperative play. I mean, the original Days Gone wanted co-op from the very beginning, but they decided to focus on other avenues for it. So why exactly was Days Gone 2 rejected? Simple. In the eyes of Sony, it didn't sell up to expectations. And of course, one of the larger reasons was that Sony wanted to focus more on larger blockbuster games, like such as the titles that Naughty Dog was pumping out. Sony wants those big, juicy Last of Us games that score really high with critics. Remember, Days Gone, it launched with mixed reviews. It ultimately ended up selling over 8 million copies as of January 5th, 2022, which actually outsold Ghost of Tsushima. Even with these numbers very clearly outlining their success, the studio was always under the impression that it was a failure and a disappointment because that's what Sony told them. The numbers that they achieved, any game developer strives to hit. And look, I'm gonna be honest, didn't play Days Gone when it came out. I played it three years after launch. Mainly all the performance and bugs were ironed out. It's also quite possible that Sony wasn't a fan of the state of the game when it launched, hence their hesitation and ultimate rejection. Days Gone is a slow burn. It takes a little bit to get into, but I truly do think it deserves a second chance. Fans love it, but it sort of needs a redemption arc in the eyes of Sony. Sony is obsessed with those blockbuster hits. They want everything to be on the same level as the Uncharted's and the Spider-Man's. And it seems like Ben Studio has just given up entirely on trying to make it happen. The sequel pitch was, quote, an uphill battle. They also pitched an open world resistance reboot. I know. How wonderful, another reboot. We went from hordes of zombies to another reboot, but that actually got shut down as well. So whatever this studio is doing, it's currently unknown. It was noted that Ben Studio is actively working on a very exciting new IP that they're very, very passionate about. That's exciting news, but honestly, I'm a fan of new IPs, new ideas, and if a sequel is warranted, then I very much support the creative minds behind it. And some of the actions from the studio over the past couple of years do show that they want to make a sequel. Fans want a sequel, but it's most likely not going to happen. It looks like whatever they're working on now, that's going to take the forefront. Who knows though? Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll get a Days Gone 2, another Infamous, another Sly Cooper. Who knows really? With Sony making this big push towards more blockbuster games, the future is very much unknown. But friends, that is everything that I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, do all that fancy stuff for me. And if you want more great content from me, you can go ahead and click these videos right here.